in Assam, Konnichiwa, Samurai Engineers. In this uh, video, let us uh, start the course topic about managerial accounting. So our subject is managerial accounting. All of the previous video lectures that we had, is all about uh, the basic accounting or the financial accounting. So it is a continuation of the uh, subject managerial accounting. So we need certain definition, we need familiarity. So that is all about the previous lectures that we had up to now. So we have about three weeks, of, of about three hours each. So we have about nine to 10 hours of lecture for basic understanding and familiarity. In this uh, introductory part, video, we divided this into simple concepts. So there are nine, uh, about 10 concepts that we will learn. So this particular one is module 0 0.01, which is the first concept under this introductory video. So let us proceed. So our uh, first concept is about uh, the managerial, managerial accounting and what it means in our current situation. Uh, there are globalization issues. Okay. Globalization issues, meaning we have what reduction in tariffs and quotas, expansion of internet usage, improvements in global transportation system, increasing sophistication in international market. So each of these has influence, each of this has an effect on the managerial accounting, on the uh, business as, as a whole. And because the business is changing, our uh, recording process in the business setting changes and the recording process is being implemented for the use of managerial decisions for decision making purposes and that's why it also involves it affects the managerial decision making from the recorded transactions as a basis, so we have the accounting for management. So the global marketplace, what's all about? There are companies that have been successful in their local markets. They may uh, suddenly find themselves facing competition from halfway around the globe. Suddenly, there are companies that offer same service, not within our uh, country, but outside the border. So even in our uh, regional setup here, we belong to the Asia economy. So Asian economy have a border, but even outside this border. So not only the country borders, only the regional borders. Okay? So, and because of that, there are complex transactions that are going on right now. Okay. So particularly competition, marketing, offering of products, transaction. So it would involve uh, decision making and business activities that would contribute to the success of each of their own businesses. So, so what are these? 
there are new markets that evolves. Okay, and there are new customers and new type of workers. For example, right now, the, there is a current pandemic that is happening around the world. So new type of customers, customers demand products to be delivered at their own doorstep. Okay. So what about the workers? Suddenly there is a big demand for, for uh, deliveries, working on the transport of products and services. Okay. And these are market driven by the market. So new market. So these three things uh, are uh, the contributing factors of the current state of globalization. It will evolve continuously. It will change from time to time. It will change and it will change continuously. How this specific market evolves, how new customers uh, requires, demands their uh, comfort. No? So even the day-to-day -day necessity of food, clothing, they they already want it to be delivered at their doorstep. Okay, so new sense of new sense of standard taking place, okay? Five years ago, 10 years ago, that is not the case, okay? Because we, we eat outside, not only for the purpose of eating, but socializing, okay? Socializing, have uh, other activities, okay? So at the same time, we are eating, but now, there is a new demand. So it will evolve as our global situation evolves. So what uh, those business needs are strategy to be able to cope up with these changes. And what is uh, a strategy? A strategy is a game plan that enables a company to attract customers by distinguishing itself from competitors. What you can offer that uh, your competitors cannot, or that you can offer that you can offer better than your competitor. Your services are better. So even the transport of people, for example, in our country, we have uh, taxi, but due to our current situation, we are more on contacting Grab, for example, rather than taxi. Okay, so there, there was a gradual shifting. We don't know what will happen in the future if we if uh, the situation will go back to the same, it was before the pandemic, but right now there are more and more into the delivery of products, services, and even human being. Delivery in the sense that the human being have to be transported from one place to another. And you know, for the fact that one manager of a known international company is actually quote unquote, being delivered from his re residence to the site, to the company site, every day being delivered, right? Being delivered, okay? Actually from hotel, he is uh, built in a hotel in, a, uh, in CR and uh, their uh, workplace is, in the nearby province, which is uh, export processing zone, so daily, so sort of people is being delivered to and from the workplace, okay? because there are still 
there are still uh, uh, activities that cannot be made from home. There are limitations. There are many jobs that can be made from home, but uh, not all. For example, production. Okay. If you are just uh, accounting for production data and documents, maybe you can do it uh, at home, but in the actual production of goods, uh, pieces, okay, parts, assemblies, cannot do it from home. Okay. So still there are uh, situation where uh, instead of working from home, the uh, workforce are to be transported back and forth every day, okay? So strategy, there is a sense of competition. One business have to gain a profit. And if that business being, uh, the same business being done by other companies, so they will work, what? They will fight for customers and they have to satisfy the customer better than the other so that the customer will ship to their side. So what do we mean by that? Cons customer intimacy. Not the basic needs of the customer, but more than that, they are offering so that they gain favor in return from the customer. The customer's loyalty will now ship okay, from their competitors to them to their company. So operational excellence. We have to strategize also this, which are the parts that can be work from home, which are not. We have to strategize so that our company operation will not become but still maintain its excellence. So we have two strategies, okay? Operational excellence then. Uh, the important one is product leadership. If our product became a leader in, the, in one field, it is known, okay? It gains a bigger, uh, portion of the market market share okay? so it will always be recognized because you are the product leader so your product will be recognized better uh, in in more uh, by more customers than the other uh, competitors so uh, that's for the first uh, concept of our uh, rationale reason why we have this subject uh, managerial accounting. So there must be uh, some changes, some recording, reporting change specifics so that we can fight with the rest of the competition. So any question, you can ask your question, add your comment on the comment section below. Again, this is Dr. Ripi, Preaching Engineering for Nation Building.